Welcome student teachers. Today we are to learn a inquiry teaching strategy by Killen with Ms. T. Vega. First of all, what are we to learn today? We are to determine what is inquiry teaching strategies, distinguish features of structured inquiry uh, teaching strategy, um, determine reasons why we use this inquiry as a teaching strategy, um, um, distinguish how to plan and use inquiry as a teaching strategy, and finally establish how to practice it in a classroom scientific lesson. First things first, what is inquiry teaching strategy? Inquiry teaching strategy uh, incorporates various strategies such as cooperative learning and problem solving but most of all it really impl implies um, implements uh, inquiry based learning where you encourage a, learn a learner to understand a problem or issue instead of memorizing um, knowledge in this sense it's basically saying that the child may do research on their own but most of the time they have to go through a problem to seek the results like why did it happen how did it happen and doing that through an experiment learners are encouraged to research projects that engage in asking questions drawing a hypothesis gathering information through uh, experiments analyzing the data drawing up a conclusion in um, a discussion and with that, it makes up more questions to answer. Features of a structured inquiry. Well, inquiry is a form of research used for a short period or intensive uh, projects for activity ranges and research based to be creative. Basically, what that means is that in inquiry, it's a form of research for a child within a short period of time or some form of projects of in, of activity activities so that they would research the outcome of the hypothesis they're trying to test. What is it, um, the steps that are present? Well, first of all, it has a compelling question posed by learners motivated that motivates uh, their curiosity on the subject. And with that question, now they plan and undergo investigation to find out an answer on that question. Uh, while um, planning that investigation, they have to research information and really understand the process while, you know, um, uh, doing the experiments. This is a creative phase of investigation where they formulate and articulate his or her developing uh, and understanding the new ideas. This may occur during experiments. Fourth, it would be to share their learning experiences and new understandings with others. This may occur in a small group discussion often in experiments or going through what happened why it happened and how it happened now fifth last but not least um the learners individually and collectively reflect on the research question their approach to finding the answer and the conclusion they reached within the process and the inquiry process now, why do we use uh, inquiry as a teaching strategy? What reasons? Now, it is very useful within the developing, uh, development of research, uh, research skills and for the learner and really encouraging them to take responsibility for their learning within instructed inquiry through investigations, analyzing, conclusion, by really evaluating, um, concluding by evaluating results of experiments or research. Now, the, this is very useful in scaffolding, this kind of um, 
teaching strategy because it really uh, develops the discovery skills within the research or investigation and it enables them to be capable of understanding complex issues and discovering important new knowledge themselves. It also uh, encourages learners to be a bit more skeptical about ideas that others consider as facts. That means they really would research their own self and decide on their own how true is that so-called fact by proving it's wrong or right during a hypothesis basically and uh, within the structured inquiry it really encourages critical thinking and reflection as i said earlier critical thinking is when they really have to find the answer you know they really have to challenge current research by doing their own experiments and whatnot and reflecting on what they knew before the experiment and after and analyzing the, the, the results they could make a conclusion a discussion among themselves the patterns the trains what happened why did it change color what was the threshold in the titration, you know, if you're talking about chemistry, um, stuff like that. If um, in another reason would be um, for structured inquiry, it can help learners to understand the essential nature of the field of study. For example, it can help them understand that science is a process of creating laws, models, and theories that enable them to predict, explain, and control the behavior of the world. Lastly, it gives the teacher an opportunity to really observe the learner, analyze them how they interact with other learners or an, an activity or project, and how they learn their learning skills. Planning for and using inquiry as a teaching skill. First of all, you need to plan your learning outcomes. You need to develop a suitable question or a set of questions that will be able to focus on the students and help them achieve the desired learning outcome. Thirdly, they need to identify their prior knowledge and skills the learner will need in order to conduct the research. If necessary, you need to teach them the prior knowledge. For example, uh, prior knowledge might be stuff like um, how before they get into the lab, right? They need to know the emergency emergency uh, showers, how to use the gas, and then let's say you are doing titration. They need to know what's a base, what's a buffer, what is an acid, and how and what is PhD, uh, sorry, pH balance, stuff like that. You need to uh, teach them the basics before they even experiment themselves. That is the prior knowledge of the experiments, right? Uh, this may in involve uh, teaching for inquiry, uh, developing uh, learners understanding of the subject as I mentioned in the example before and teaching them about inquiry um, this develops the uh, students understanding of how to engage in inquiry in this part in teaching in teaching them how to engage in I mean about inquiry this may uh, this means a child is learning how to record a scientific method where the first step is to make observation the second step is to ask a question so they put it in order in a format where there's the hypothesis there's the the method the ingredients you know how they did it and at the end what is the result and what the discussion from the results, what do you think happened? And then at the end, they give a conclusion. That is a scientific report. And so that's how you teach them uh, the formats of the scientific um, lesson, the experiment, the reports. That is about inquiry. The, 
that is how you teach them okay you need to draw up a hypothesis yeah fourth is to plan the lesson in which you will introduce learners to the inquiry exercise okay decide you will um, explain what they what you want them to learn and explain what you expect of them during the inquiry this is very useful because sometimes you need to draw a map of what the kids need to focus on before they run out of lab time okay write them questions on the board what do you want them to look at what do you want them to report how do you expect them to behave in the lab stuff like that um second last would be plan how you will monitor learners a progress uh, during the experiment do you give them group work um, points to uh, kind of encourage them to behave yeah uh, in within that process do you give them reports scientific reports um, slips so that they can write on as a group or um, stuff like that like actual assessment sheets um, how you're going to uh, assist them as pre and during and post of the lesson. Uh, this should involve at least the following. A. Identify the parts of the inquiry exercises that you likely to cause um, the most difficulties for the learners, which is important. Uh, B. Uh, decide what difficulties it might be. Um, C. Develop some strategies for minimizing these difficulties. Lastly, plan how you will evaluate the uh, inquiry activity. Basically, when you say evaluate, are you going to ask the kids to present their results and then give in a group report? Or are you going to ask them to go home with the results and process it and make it an individual assessment or you it basically is how you're gonna uh, assess how the kids reflected and what are their findings and what they learned is it going to be formal or informal stuff like that according to Killam, the guidelines of having a group inquiry are a lot so I'll just skim through it, yeah? You are to work in a, a work on a, a research question. First of all, make a list for specific questions for the group. Make a list, number three, of group of things they may need and um, answering the question or the method. Excuse me. Excuse me. Arrange the list in order from first to last. Um, in terms of how they're going to implement or act out the experiments decide which members of the group would be responsible for each item on the list and decide it will help each member of the group learn the issues the other team or members are investigating how it will help each group member to achieve the learning outcome seven decide you decide how you will present the results in your groups a research and start gathering information in your group you will need to answer the question um number nine share the information so that everyone is satisfied the information is what the group needs keep a symbol record to show the progress of your group has made and organize and analyze the information so that the group can answer the main question. Last and last, second last, prepare a short report of results of your research. And lastly, evaluate the research effects of your group by considering how well unable they answered the research question and how well the group worked as a team i'll make a list of things they would do differently next time you work on an inquiry task 
how to formulate a scientific method. This is an example of using an inquiry teaching strategy. First of all, when you formulate a scientific method and report, you need to ask a question. A question is what the kids are trying to find out a solution for within that subject. They need to perform research uh, research may be small bits and bits and pieces of information about the subject before they even perform the the experiment and really even finding out method ingredients and what they are expected to do at the lab establishing a hypothesis if if it works out good if it works out bad this is what we're trying to you know find out and that's the hypothesis um conduct experiment to test the hypothesis of course and um make observations by recording results analyze results and draw a conclusion and then lastly they have to present their findings now this really um, improves a learner's research skill as uh, the learner will not learn from inquiry uh, task unless they are certain positions and research skills the learner must want to learn and they must have the skill to be able to do the following first of all they need to be able to locate information they need to know how and where to find it and really how to organize it they need to be able to think logically the inquiry requires uh, a systematic search for answers that is driven by logical reasoning um, they need to form a hypothesis or a research question without this clear focus the inquiry is unlikely to help them learn they need to organize ideas and information. Learners need to be able to use suitable organ, uh, organizing frameworks to help them focus on the inquiry, inquiry and make sense of the information they gather. The extract key ideas from written material without the skill inquiry, inquiry may, can degenerate into minus connections and um, collections of possible useful resources second last uh, they need to identify a trend in their in the data learners need to be able to look beyond the details of uh, individual pieces of data whether they are numeric graphical physical sexual or something else they need to see a pattern and the relationships between the findings yes and lastly they need to draw a conclusion ultima uh ultima learners just need to make sense of the inquiry and decide what it means uh, an example of inquiry would be grade five natural science uh, metals and non-metals properties of metals um, from one of my videos I will uh, drop a tag right here leading you to that video or at the end of the video it shows you how to guide the kids to a scientific lesson and really giving them information before they even start the experiment um let's recap what did we do learn today um we have determined that inquiry is a teaching strategy that incorporates various strategies as cooperative and problem solving and implements inquiry based learning we have also found out that the distinguished features of structured inquiry has a completing question uh, plan and undertake investigation, search for information, understanding purposes, pro progresses, uh, um, share the learning, um, 
actually processes, share the learning experiences and new understanding with others. Learners um, individually and collectively reflect on the research question. We have determined how, uh, what reasons of using um, inquiry teaching strategies. We have distinguished how to plan in using inquiry as a teaching strategy. And lastly, we have established how to practice a practice it in a classroom scientific lesson. Thank you so much for joining me. If you need more, love to see more of my content, you are very much welcome to see on my website, Sandy Plenandava at uh, websites.com slash ms team vega instagram um with miss team vega and my youtube channel with miss new team vega you are to find many more different foundation and intermediate lesson lessons and arts segments and i hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Bye.